my hope is that visitors will like you know be able to go into both rooms and kind of have a feeling where they are like in a virtual space um, like kind of out of their body but then they're like suddenly in a physical space that feels virtual and they can move around it and I guess I'm interested in how um, the feeling of navigating a virtual space and a physical space can can kind of morph back into mm -hmm. itself. Like, you know, going through a labyrinth is sort of a meditative activity, and I think of um, both the, the virtual reality space and the physical space as being a kind of labyrinth that's meant for meditation. So as you, like, um, navigate through the corridors of the space, um, just like reflecting on the surfaces and the order of um, materials um, is sort of the experience that's meant to be had. <laughs> I'm definitely trying to think of like um, shapes that are like the most human shapes. Um, a shape that a, a human just sees the shape and is like, that's something that mm -hmm. is important or that relates, that's like a shape in the world. But it's sort of, you can't immediately identify it, but it feels like some kind of um, entity or... Some kind of primal resonance. Yeah. <laughs> You know, your brain's always just like in all directions, and just focusing it on um, making a pattern <laughs> can be like, um, I think, a very good exercise. And I think also in our installations, that's kind of a goal is to like set up a system and mm. see like what emergent patterns come out of it. MSHR is a bit more towards actualizing ritual and using symbolism and actualizing like physical systems that kind of reflect systems of nature or society or technology and humans. Well, it's been kind of a logical extension of our workflow to go into virtual reality because um, we've worked so much in um, immersive physical installations. Working in virtual reality spaces that can be navigated by visitors um, kind of brings that all together.